Bronwyn is living her best life. I don't think she's going to be back on the air. You know, I don't think she's going back to, you know, Elizabeth Vargas, by the way, I just saw today is starting a podcast as well. Everybody has a podcast. Everybody. But well, hers they see is, the success. Yeah. They see the success. So and why doesn't everyone just come into the podcast game? Um, they don't realize the work, but they see the success. And what is this now? Adam Carol Raswell's ex. <gasps> Oh my God. He's a blast from the past. I mean, have we thought about Adam recently? I had not thought about hot Adam. You know, Adam was always like super attractive to me. I was, I loved, you know, he was kind of crunchy granola. He's a chef. He's a celebrity chef. That's how we met Carol. Um, you know, he's a longtime friend of Elle McPherson. And there's also, there's always been a rumor that they uh, date, but supposedly they both shot that down and he's just a chef for her Wellco company. Um, but I love this New York post blind item, which was this, not really blind item. It was out there, but that he was at a party with Kelly Ben Simone and just like drooling over her. Um, and Kelly wasn't really into it and then ended up leaving the party. But I mean, uh, what is that? What happened to Adam? I guess like, uh, like, I mean, this story doesn't seem so unbelievable. No, I mean, it is pr- believable. Look, he was with Carol. Now he's linked to Elle. I mean, maybe if it seems like he likes older females. Yes. And um, Kelly Ben Simone, who has been on this podcast, uh, is just literally drop dead gorgeous. Drop, so, drop dead. I know I've told you this story. I mean, I walked by her on a New York sidewalk and I did a double take. Like everybody did a double take. It was myself. Like there was another guy. I mean, she is so tough. She's, she's stunning, 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 stunning. She just looks like a star. She looks like a star. She looks like a star. She's so pretty. So beautiful. I mean, I think she's prettier than Elle McPherson, if you want to hear that. But Elle McPherson is also gorgeous. And Carol's pretty. They're all pretty. Oh, I love Carol. Carol's like, Carol's my favorite, one of my favorite housewives of all time and style icon of mine. I love Carol. She did well here behind the velvet rope. So I don't know. So that's Adam says it's not true. All the reps say it's not true. But I don't know. Did I don't think Adam responded. I think the New York Post reached out for a comment from no Adam. Comment and from he Adam. didn't respond. I think a friend of Kelly Ben Simone says Kelly wasn't into it not Kelly's type. I still am going back to when Kelly, like when was that nine months ago when Kelly was linked with A-Rod after A-Rod, I could see that that would be perfect for both of them. She's got a little JLo-esque thing going on a little bit. He, she's pretty. I mean, Kelly fucking signed her up for that money. I mean, he was just dumped by JLo. Like he made, you know, this, I think that could be a great match. I really do. It's so funny to me because I really did think after that relationship blew up between JLo and A-Rod, I really thought that he was going to date Madison um, from uh, Southern Charm. I really, really did. I don't know why. I just felt like Madison was so his type. And I thought these two are going to be together for a while. And then she went off and got engaged to somebody else. And I don't know if she actually got married yet or what, but we're obviously going to see Southern We're going to watch it all on season eight of the one, the <laughs> only Southern Charm. Southern Charm. We've got, I've got some Southern Charm people coming up. There's people that fell into the lap. Oh, I mean, I, I don't know. Are we like saying anything we shouldn't say? But we, you know, we talked to Pringle because Pringle was on my podcast. We reached out to Pringle. And, you know, I mean, I, I don't know if, I guess this is public, but Pringle is kind of going to be a friend, small right? Small role, small, small role, role yeah. I loved Pringle. I, I don't know if he cares. You know, I just don't know if he cares. When Pringle came on my show, I got the, um, he did the interview from like a deck that he was hanging out on, drinking a beer. And I just got the vibe. I think Pringle was very good friends with, I don't think it was Shep. I think it was one of the other guys that he'd gone to college Austin with. Austin or Craig? I think it was Craig. I think <laughs> they, Those are, or was it like Whitney? No, I think it was Craig. They were very, or might have been Shep. Anyway, one of them he went to school with and they were like, huh. dude, you should do this show. And I just think, I think John kind of did it because he was pals with them, but I, I don't think John was ever particularly into it. I just don't Reality think- Reality TV is just not for everybody. Now, he he didn't seem- Again, like, I just, I think sometimes people are like too real. You know what I mean? They're yeah. too real life. And I think that was yes. John. And I, I don't think he was going to play into anything else. And so we're not going to be seeing a lot of Pringle. 
most people that don't make it, it's just they're too real life. Nobody wants your real fucking life. I'm sorry. I know. They, don't. they want the fake, they want the drama, they want the, you know, they want you spending other people's money and then, you know, nearly going to jail. That's why I give Crystal Kong Minkoff credit. I think she went home and she, I think she went through the roster of things that she could bring. And she's like, okay, I got it. This is what I'm going to come up with. And I don't mean that as a slight. I mean that as a a compliment. I do. I do. Well, she picked the wrong one. She should have come after Jenkins. And then, uh, you know, I mean, I think there would have been more there. You know, the problem is she bet on Sutton. I don't think there's much with Sutton. Just remember when on a reality show, look, it's better if something real happens to you. But if not, guys, just make something up. Now, not everybody can do that. Yeah. But if you have it in you, you have to make it up and you got to say it to yourself and you got to look in the mirror. And then when you hit go and it's out there, you got to stick to it, babies. You got to stick to it and hope that it becomes something. Hmm. Love it's that. really that easy. You're filming and you're like, I'm really upset now. I'm looking at you. Things are coming back to me. I mean, just, you got to start step one and just it. hold your breath and like, are the producers, okay, okay, this has legs. And then when it has legs and it takes off, you bought yourself another season. I'm not coming down on Crystal. I'm saying this as a compliment. It could be real, but as Kyle says, there is footage of everything everywhere and nobody seems to have footage of this. Kyle's like, it's very simple, Andy. You I don't know. do us well. You're, you're like not our friend. So if there was footage of this, you would have already shown it in a flashback on the TV. Not on Watch What Happens Live, on the actual episode, and you never did. So we don't buy it. All right. Any, anything else Beyonce. keeping you up at night? Oh, the only, okay, one more quick thing before we go. Sutton Strack through her, her friends, her friend, Jennifer Tilly. Sutton Strack is now going to be in Chucky, the new Chucky. She has a, <laughs> she has an opinion. So Miss, Miss Strack is doing, by the way, she was one of the only housewives ever that was ever on Jimmy Kimmel. Really? Yeah. I didn't know that. You'd oh, th- by the way. You would have had more people on. This just in. This just in, literally breaking news. Kim Kardashian's friend, Diana Jenkins, is sued for chopping down $70,000 worth of neighbor's hedges to boost price of her $125 million Malibu mansion and accused of Karen behavior on black security guard. I mean, this is when a black security guard for calm interviewed and asked the gardeners to stop Jenkins engaged in aggressive I assume this is real Gage Jenkins engaged in aggressively racially prejudiced Karen type behavior she allegedly threatened to call the police several times on the black man man this Diana Jenkins man it doesn't stop doesn't stop there you go all right there you go um food for thought this is developing we'll see if anything happens with it where can everybody find you, Sarah? Where? David, at the Sarah Fraser Show on TikTok, on Instagram. I put out new podcast episodes seven days a week. People know me for my TLC recaps and TLC interviews. I've had everybody on, Darcy and Stacy. Um, I have a big Before the 90 Days um, person coming on interview that's confirmed. I've had Caleb from Before the 90 Days. I mean, you know, Lauren and Alex from 90 Day Fiance. Tune into the Sarah Fraser Show. And for me, Behind the Velvet Rope on Apple, Spotify, or at Behind Velvet Rope on Instagram. Hey, we're on Twitter and we are joining TikTok. More to that coming soon. My TikTok expert is working on it behind the scenes. I got a whole team over here, Sarah. This doesn't happen. I know you do. And 